Hey Ricky, how are you doing? Good, how are you Michael? I'm doing really well. Good, it's nice to see you again. Yeah, absolutely, let's catch up. Uh, let's start at the beginning. What made you pursue a career in actuarial science? I you know, did a little bit of research and I saw it was a really good combination of business, uh, computer skills and math. And I said, hey, that really kind of fits my interest outside of film. So I'd always been really, really interested in um, the computer side of things. But then when I was working in ACA, I think I started to do research into um, individual underwriting, mainly because it was going away. And that's what led me to do a lot more research into predictive analytics specifically for individuals. What do you think are the specific uh, strengths that actuaries bring to predictive analytics? So we come in, we understand the business, we understand the data, we actually have, I would say, the prerequisite talent to do all of it. It's just, um, have we gone out and learned those uh, newer skills that have really popped up within the past five to ten years. We do need to understand how business works and when we go talk to our customers we're used to taking complex models and simplifying for them. So another thing that actuaries really bring to the table is uh, professionalism because we actually have to follow a code of conduct. So when we do things like work with data, there are specific rules that we have to follow to make sure that A, you know, the data has certain quality standards, that we do our thorough review, it may not exist for more traditional hires, so they don't have to follow that. Uh, your customer knows that you've done those things and they can be assured that you've done those things. What do you think are the greatest opportunities facing the industry right now? Uh, the biggest opportunity really is to help the business areas understand what it is and what business problems they can solve with predictive analytics. How do you see your job evolving to in predictive analytics in the next five to ten years? So some of the things I'm doing are coordinating across various uh, data science departments as well as working directly with Actrail to advance their advanced analytics capabilities. For, for me personally, my role is probably going to be more on the kind of management organizational side. How do we create a, a framework or structure within the company so that people can actually push for those initiatives? What do you find the most rewarding aspect of your career? I get to do new things almost every day. So I come to work and it's always a changing field. So it's not like I'm just, I built a model and I'm just hitting the button to refresh that model, to update it. Um, I get to think of new ways to solve existing problems or new ways to solve new problems. 